sprint car peddler for many seasons yeah, as well. Great, a great peddler. Decided to hang the helmet up when the uh, boys wanted to get into racing as we go back to green, Macca. Six laps of journey left to run and it's the Casey Cody show at the moment up front as they go nose to tail down the back straight and through three and four. Oh, and there you go, just like that. Cody says, well, come on, mate. I'll show you how it's done and leads the way. Casey settles down into second spot and uh, probably the best thing he can do. Have a look at the gaggle for third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh. Lockie Robinson doing a great job. Oh, huge, huge flip down there in turn three. That's Blake Darcy. Wow, we that was massive. It, it, just looking at it, I think. Oh, make some noise, folks. He's already out of the race car. I, th I think it biked on the way in and then bit and over it went. That was big. Wow. And Alan Solit caught most of that, I would think. Yes, he did. Oh, uh, make some noise for him, folks. He's got the helmet off. Blake Darcy. That was big. And uh, to already jump out, Crash Crew, once again, fantastic job here at Osdeck Patios, Archfield Speedway. And uh, Tiger will get the forks underneath. Trev's going to try and make his way over there as quickly as he can and see if he can catch up with Blake before he disappears. But that was big. As you say, Trev, just bicycled up on the, wheel, on, the, uh, on the two wheels, caught itself, and that was all she wrote. Yeah, you ought to see the massive chunk of clay that's uh, been... Nathan Mathers wrestling the Inksane Tattoo number 18 machine as Timmy Farrell crosses the line. 15, 3, 2, 8. Oh, Brad Dawson! Oh, once again, the luck for Brad Dawson. And Brock Dean's dropped back a few spots as well. I think they've, uh, they've, like I said, the setup's tight for those guys at the moment. Oh, McDonald with a big wheel stand in front of Clark as they come out of two. Rusty Whitaker, though, he is your race leader. McDonald will be used to carrying the front wheels. They do it all the time with the V8 dirt mods. He is one of the best at it. Here they come once again down in front of the tower. Whitaker still leading this from Farmer back to Singleton and Brown. Then we go to oh, Brock Klaus. Oh. Tommy Klaus. Yep, yellows are on. And I'm not sure if, if he came together with someone, but Klaus has uh, stopped up there in turn number three. But I tell you what, Rusty Whitaker at the moment, he is uh, flying. Yeah, he's dominant, isn't he, at the moment, the 78. Very strange to look down on that tail tank and see the number 78, not 89, as we have become accustomed to. But uh, great for uh, the man standing right beside you there, of course, Dwayne Nilsson, to allow his young charger to be able to put his race number. <laughs> That's how we work it here at Osdeck Patios. Having said that, the 63 car out of New South Wales is giving Robinson a hard time for third. Meanwhile, O'Toole has got away from Usher as one to go. 400 metres of clay for Usher to try and get the win in heat five from O'Toole. But he got it wrong down in one and two. And that gave O'Toole just a little bit of breathing space. And on the way to the chequered flag, oh, Usher gets a good run. He's got him. Usher's got him. Usher's got him by the smallest of margins. 0 0.007. O'Toole thought he had that in the bag. He drove off four. The car didn't go. And Usher got the drive and the win. Folks, put your hands together for Jamie Usher. He's under all sorts of attack at the moment from Alan Woods. The Boss Hogs, Dirt Wheels number 28 machine, looking absolutely wild on the top of the racetrack at the moment. Sticks the nose on the outside, clips the wheel of Britain, and that ends the night for Woods. Woodsy up into the middle of turn number four. Got a little bit close to Kevy Britton there, Trev, and it all came undone. The right hand front is toast. It has knocked the front end clean out of that car. He climbs out, folks, make some noise for Alan Woods. That was big. MKRA main shock absorber therapy round. We are doing. 
Pricey leads the Q1 of Blanche down into one for the first time. Thomas Vickery on the, oh, look out, Blanche, he's around in front of the whole pack and this car's going every which way to try and avoid it. sail after the tail of the six car of Price. Out in front, Vickery settles into second spot. Then it's Michael Mason in the 22, followed by Steve Potts, Lewis Gamble, Tim Gamble, and it's a McKinnell. Oh, Jamie Sawinski. Yeah, no, if you'd have seen what happened there, Stewie Jeffries, that's front.